Dad, we just covered old school steam engines, but how do modern steam turbines work in power plants today? Modern steam turbines are a leap forward from piston engines. Instead of using steam to push a piston, turbines use high pressure steam to spin blades mounted on a shaft, much like a windmill, but with steam instead of air. So the steam is directed onto the blades and makes the shaft rotate? Exactly! The steam is routed through a series of nozzles that convert thermal energy into kinetic energy. These high-speed jets of steam hit rotor blades, causing the shaft to spin, and that rotation drives a generator to make electricity. Are the blades just in one stage, or are there multiple? Multiple. Most turbines are multi-stage axial flow turbines. Steam goes through high pressure, HP, intermediate pressure, IP, and low pressure, LP, stages. Each one extracts more energy as the steam expands and drops in pressure. Why not just extract it all in one go? Because steam expands significantly and its energy density drops. Using multiple stages allows gradual energy extraction, improving efficiency, and reducing mechanical stress. And this is part of the Rankine cycle, right? Yep. Water gets heated in a boiler, turns to high pressure steam, spins the turbine, then gets condensed back into water in a condenser, and the cycle repeats. Are these things efficient? Modern combined cycle plants can exceed 60% efficiency especially when steam turbines are paired with gas turbines. That's cutting-edge thermodynamic engineering, Steve.